Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So of course, now that I'm feeling better, I'm able to do this. These are all the things that I am just not getting to. And my husband is really getting upset and he wants to throw some of the stuff away. I'll show you what he wants to throw away. Anyway, so I made a list of things. Um, I will go through them slowly so you can see. One of the things on the list is just this little um, cupboard needs to close. The hinge is not working properly. We try to put a little magnet there. It's not working. So one of the things on my list is for me to try and fix this little cupboard. Not too bad a job. Definitely not. This should be a quick fix if you have the right equipment. Then I bought this little cute um, footstool, rimpies, but it never had the rimpies. Um, I think I paid 20 rand or something for it, and it needs to be refinished. I need to put a padding on there and recover it. I've got material and things. I must just get to do it and maybe varnish it. Then one of the other things that I've got on my list for a long time is this little section is going to be a vertical vegetable plant rack. And these are the racks or the holders standing there on the right. And I've got the planks with all the holes cut up. I need to varnish this and put this up. So this is definitely a, a nice project. It's going to look so good. Then I all am always buying frames. My husband gets upset with me buying so many frames, but I've got a weakness for frames. And I have to do something with it. I started already with the one frame in the middle, putting some wood filler in. But I need to sand it and paint it. And I want to try something new. So watch this space. The other thing is I bought a planter box. One of the um, brothers in our church, he actually makes them. So if you are interested in planter box, please contact me and he can make it to your specification. So I want to put ground in and I want to plant my tomato vines in here and make it look better than this. Then this is the two things my husband wants to throw away all the time. The left hand rack I bought for 50 rand at the auction and the right hand thing I got for free as a book rack. But I know I can make both of these items look so much better. So although you might think they're rubbish, please just give me a chance to change them up and then you can decide after that. Then one of the other things I also bought at the auction, I think I paid 50 rand for this one too. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe 100 rand. It's a little milk chair. It is so cute. We actually use it when we cut the guy's hair because it's lower, so it's a nice... But it needs to be varnished and sanded and, and painted. So one of my projects for sure. Then my sister bought this jug in America and she doesn't like the coloring or anything. It's also a very lightweight um, jug. So what I'm going to do is um, a finish on it that I've seen somebody else on their YouTube channel that did. And I am so happy to say I am all going to try it and we'll see if we can make it look better. Then the other project on my list was this piano chair that my daughter Shania bought for her piano on the auction. Once again, I think she paid 100 rand for it. A very sturdy, nice looking one. But look at that material. It is so outdated. And of course, we don't want to sit on it because we don't know how old it is. So um, I'm just showing how it looked the before photos of this chair. And here is my niece, Bia. She helped me to take this um, staplers off. And there were so many of them. I don't know why people put so many staplers down. I don't. And they were so tough to take out. So you can see how we're struggling to take it out. Well, after that job was done, I realized I didn't have batting. So it took me a while to get to the shop to buy batting. And here I am just giving it before I start painting. I don't like painting over dirt. So I first gave it a good scrub. I just used lukewarm water with sunlight liquid. That's my go-to. And I gave it a good scrub. And after I scrubbed it, I gave it a good dry just with an old towel. And then obviously then after that, I would um, then start painting it. So here you can see I'm trying it. And normally the paint that I'm using is a, oh, just a general wood paint. It's water-based. It's obviously got a sealer in. I find I always have to put at least three coats for a good covering. Now, the reason I had to paint this um, wood is you'll see it, it. it's not just a normal, it was very chipped and places and it was discolored. So it, it needed a paint. And you can see how nice just the first uh, coat already just covers all those bad little spots over there. And then after the painting, while I was waiting for it to dry, I could recover the chair. So that is why I wanted batting. I wanted it to be more softer and I took the batting um, 
I think this piece was about 32 Rand. I just bought like a meter and I did it double. And I've got a stable gun. It's always a nice thing to have a stable gun. It's so easy to change something up. And this material I'd bought a while ago for some couches that I had and it was left over. And how apt it is to use it for a piano chair. So here it is after I covered it. And then afterwards we just screwed that in into the table. So I think I first put here a reminder for you of how it looked before, before I got to it, as we found it at the auction, bringing it home, all right? And then now it is done, a big, big transformation. The students say it's very comfortable to sit on it. It looks nice by her piano, and it's out of my side of the house. And it's one of the things that I could tick off my list was just standing around and just taking place in my side because it wasn't just, you know, when you have that to-do list in the back of your mind. Well, in any case, now I've got nine things to go and I'm showing you this so you can keep me accountable. Bye for now.